Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master of Time. If you remember, in the last episode we took on the Temple of Wisdom, which the game told us is the, uh, the third and final one that we need before we go to the Path of Gods, or Path of Gods, something like that. Um, but I'm not sure if that's like the final area of the game, and I know that there's other places we haven't visited, as well as other things that we haven't done. So, before we go onward, I want to take care of some things that I missed while I was recording, but I found later, like, during my personal playthrough. One. Is in the Goron. Goron City or whatever it's called. Thank you, James. Alright. So there should be some stuff that we needed bombs to do, but couldn't because we didn't have bombs the first time we came. Here's one thing. Weird that it only blew up one. That's alright. Alright, we got through. Just need one more. So, this is the. We did go there, right? Where the moblins are, because I can see the cannons. Alright, so the place that we missed. You remember these cannons that are like pointing towards the moblins there? I'm not sure if I actually went over here and looked around. I may have just thought it was a corner, but it is not an empty corner because closed due to a strike. Yeah, but guess what, man? Strike's over. Come on out. Hell from the minecart tracks. Yeah, we're in actual Goron mine. Really cool, I thought. And don't know how we missed it. What's up, man? Hi, little guy. My name is Pierre. Great Goron blacksmith. I can sell you very powerful swords, but I need some help first. My forge is off since the strike. Turn it on and I will be able to work again. Switch is somewhere in the mine, but I don't know where. Too big to go there. Fair enough. That is a, a genuine, honest problem. My condolences. I will help you. To the uh, Ultula house in a while. I don't know if 25 
golden spatulas gets you. But might be worth checking out next time we're in Bella Town. I can like, hardly. So we're looking for this guy's This keeps going deeper and deeper and just gets more dark. Dude, he was ready as soon as I came out. I want to see down here. In the Usually, when the game has any kind of bonus area, it's always for a piece of art. But we do need one more to make another heart container. So, can't be that bad. Yeah, I seriously cannot see anything. Oh, Golden Skull Chill. I forgot they do hide those behind big long wind areas. Well. But yeah, I I hope that the picture comes through better um, for you guys. It's for me. I, I can't hardly see anything other than blink and uh, those like jewels in the metal tracks. So. Hopefully the um, video capture actually gets all the lighting and whatnot, but as far as my ear monitor goes, I guess I don't have it too bright. So. Is that really all that was done? Any kind of extra thing. Okay. A lot of gold sculpture. Looks like there is a problem with its durability. Still, how about buying this knife for 200 rupees? Alright, come back again. What? My only option? What do I have? Yeah, broke. Giant sign. 
Well, let's see what he gives. What? All he does is sell you more. What the crap? That Okay. Alright, so onward to the next area. Alright, so back in Bellow Field, whatever it's called. One of these guard towers. Not this. One of these guard towers blocked off by uh, like a big boulder and like Arzo dead or Road closed. Close on. On. Death is everywhere. Broke the rock already? We haven't been here though, right? Maybe I broke it while I was exploring on my own and just saved it. Okay. That was so cool. Right. Oh, okay, that was really anti-climactic. It's a jump and it's about to unfall. Right. And we completed another heart container. I think that's a good place to leave off. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not. That way you can catch the next episode where we're going to explore all this ice land. Excited for that. Anyways, I'll see you guys then.